हेलो एवरी वन जयराम हियर इन दिस कंप्लीट पाइथन सीरीज इन टू डेट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा टाइप्स इन पाइथन सो पाइथन बेसिकली ऑफर्स डिफरेंट वेरियस डेटा टाइप्स दैन अदर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इफ यू सी इन दैट इन सी सी प्लस प्लस सो इट्स लिटिल डिफरेंट basically the calculation as mostly in the scientific calculation and some data related calculations python uses lots of data types so let us see what are the different data types and in the later videos we will i will also release one by one one video for each data types but uh, combined way we are going to see what are those data types in this video so the first data type here is the numeric under numeric you see integer float and complex number integer and float we are already familiar with that but complex numbers are here there's a new one which are mostly used in some uh, mathematical calculation or scientific calculations then there is a dictionary it's one of the data type of stories we will see in the later slides how it works or how it look like boolean you are familiar in uh, every programming language this uh, data types is always there set it's new to everyone i hope so we have already used this set in the mathematics calculation then uh, sequence type and uh, in this in sequence type there are three data types are here string list and tuple so let us see one by one what are these data types in python so the first one is the numeric data types and in numeric there are three types you have already seen in that chart one is integer second is the float third is the complex number so how it is integer so integer basically whatever the numbers we deal with that number sign numbers means that can be positive or negative numbers and uh, python who are the python the storing any data which in the form of uh, integer python uses its class int so integer data type classes are uh, for python internal class name is int similarly float any number which which is related to decimal points and uh, or floating you have already uh, aware about this data type and it, in python it can be up to 15 decimal points some numbers like 2.1 3.0 and uh, 2.3 something like that those numbers are floating point similarly the complex number complex number is the new data types we uh, uh, and uh, basically this is used for the mathematical calculation and uh, uh, some scientific calculation we will use that so if you see here the i have used 1 plus 2j so this is the way to represent a uh, complex number so any number like if you go to the Um, our editor i'm just creating one uh, small like uh, data types data types dot py right and uh, if i'm talking about integer i'm just uh, if i'm declaring any number like i one variable is age i'm just putting here 29 means age is a uh, numeric data type how will you know that uh, this age is a numeric data type so in python there is a function to check the type of any uh, variable so if you if i print here and here write the type and then the variable name age let us see what it gives the output you see here the class is int so this is how we can check the data type of any variable just to put the type this is one of another is uh floating point suppose that uh, uh marks i am putting some uh, one variable which is the marks and i have got the 80.6 point, uh, definitely this is a decimal and uh, this is way we can represent and uh, so if you want to check the data type print type marks sorry marks right i'm just commenting for the better visibility this one and uh, you can see it's a float right the float numbers can be represented like this one what is the next one the complex number 
like any expression like expression i am putting in mathematical expression which is the um, complex number it will be in the form of 1 plus 2j right so if i will check the data type of this uh, variable let us see what it prints print type and uh, the variable name is expression right sorry expression and uh, if we print if you see here's displaying the complex right so this is how we can uh, assign the complex number the float and integer and we can also check the data types now next data type is sequence type so sequence type the first is the string so i we are very familiar with the what are the string as the name suggests some of the, any string the collection of words like here message is collection of two words hello and word hello world so if you define a string is a sequence of characters represented by either single quotes or double quotes right like uh, similarly if you next is the list uh, uh, and uh, before going to list if you see in the, in the string the class of string data type in python is str now list if you see here is the list i have put it uh, here one example languages and uh, swift java python right if you see one bigger bracket started and all the values are in the enclosing uh, uh, inverted comma or maybe not comma it's it depends on this is string that's why inverted comma i can put the number as well so list what is a list? list is a col order collection of similar or different types of item separated by comma and enclosed within the bigger bracket right third is tuples python class for tuple data types are tuple and if you see i have given one example the same example i have used for the tuple which was used for the list uh, there are three languages swift java and python i have used here and what the bracket i've used the smaller one so if i'm enclosing a uh, values and separated by comma in a smaller bracket then this is the tuple and the class name of a tuple data type is tuple and if you define tuple is an ordered sequence of item same as list the only difference with the list is tuples are immutable immutable it means values of a particular uh, value at a particular position you will not able to change so once a tuple, tuple is created we will not able to modify we can remove but uh, if you want to change this particular index put another value that will not be accepted here let us see this these three examples in uh, our vs code so i am just uh, writing here i am just commenting out and uh, I am creating firstly a string. I am suppose that name, name is J, right? My name is J. So I am printing the data type and uh, print type and then name. And I can see class a string, a str, right? And uh, so this is the string data type. Another was the list. So how we can represent the list suppose that i have one uh, um, a temp list i am creating a variable temp list and uh, i am assigning the values like the in bigger bracket one is the city names like uh, delhi uh, mumbai mumbai another i am putting here chennai so you see this is the way to represent the list how i know that this, this is the list data type i can check programmatically how i'm just commenting this one so that we'll have better readability print type and the variable name what is the temp list right let us see i'm just clearing the screen so that we have better visibility so let us run this program and see here's class list is printed so in python list data types uh, uh, are in uh, big uh, bigger biggest one bracket and with the 
comma separated values are comma separated and value can be anything like numeric or string right and uh, next one is was the next one was tuple right so i am a temp tuple i am creating one variable and uh, according to definition what how the uh, tuple can be presented start with the smaller bracket and bracket and the we can put the values i can use the same values here we'll see in detail each data type what is the purpose of different uh, types of data types list is their value is same but uh, writing a style is different but definitely there is some region of being of uh, these data types so where we should not use the list where we should use the list where should use the tuple we will, you will see detail in when we go with these data types in later videos so this is the tuple and suppose that i want to check the type of this uh, variable temp tuple so how how we can check print then uh, type then uh, temp oh not list i am here at the tuple i am testing right so i am just printing here so you see tuple right so data type of this variable temp tuple is tuple right so done now we are done with the string list tuple we'll see in detail in the later videos but right now for now this is the enough for our understanding now boolean what is the boolean boolean is the two default values for any boolean type like uh, suppose that we are just want to check that is that variable or some condition is just a true or false so we will use this one and what the class used by python for the boolean data types is the boolean how we can use the boolean and uh, we can see i'm just commenting suppose that uh, i am creating one variable is uh, available right i am sometimes we have to use the variable like is available that person is available and putting we can use that like true right so this is the way true or false so I mean, if i am to check the that data type i will check the print and uh, type and uh, is available right so i can check let me clear the screen so that better visibility i am running you see bool not boolean basically the class name is bool so this is how if i if i can check false this and this will be also like a boolean right this is how we can uh, boolean data types can be uh, declared and you can check the data types right next dictionary so what is dictionary basically you are familiar with the normal dictionary we have in our houses that uh, we have some easily can you can find the at what page which uh, if you have english dictionary by knowing the key you can find the word in where in what on on which page you can find that word similarly in, in python so in python this is order collection of items and it store the values in key values pairs so here in if you see this example and here is a, at the key is 1 value is jay key is 2 value is raj key is 3 value is john key is 4 value is doy and the complete is enclosed within a curly braces so we will deal and see the detail when we come to use the dictionary operations but for now this is the definition and this is the format of representing a dictionary if you want to see in a example let me explain here uh one one let me explain here uh dictionary how you can suppose that i am dict uh, temp variable i'm taking right and how the dictionary can be presented i am putting the curly braces then one colon any value suppose i'm putting the name of my friends j comma to uh as j right so you see this is the presentation of dictionary so how how you know that this is the dictionary data type i have written the correct format of that this data type similarly we can check print type dict dict temp uh 
one second i'm just uh, running this one here from here i'm just clearing and uh, suppose that i'm running from here you see dict data type the class name used by python for a dictionary data types are dict so this is dictionary data type right and uh, the next one is set so set is the one <coughs> uh, very unique data type in python here set is an ordered collection of unique items the items are already unique and set is defined by value separated by comma and they are stored in the curly braces right no key value no like bigger bracket no smaller is the curly braces and separated by comma so how you can uh, represent in uh, coding i'm just commenting this one and uh, putting here temp one variable i'm creating temp underscore set right and uh, curly braces i'm separating the values uh, like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so this is the presentation of uh, set so how you know that i have created the right set similarly print type set temp set right temp set and how we'll know that uh, it's yes you see it's a set already printed set right so that's all uh, this is the uh, you can say high level understanding of data types in next video we will go in detail uh, in detail and on all those uh, separately those variables uh, sorry data types and i'll explain different operations can be handled on those type of uh, data types if a variable is that type of variable what kind of operations can be performed we will look into each and every variable in detail like whether it's a string whether it's a list whether it's a tuple whether it's a dictionary whether it's a boolean whether it's a set numeric data type integer uh, a float or complex number we'll see in detail if you are not subscribed my channel then please subscribe i have lots of lots of things are and uh, new topics we are coming with and uh, as i told you that i am coming with all the data types in detail so stay tuned with me see you soon in the next video